In this video, I want to look at the idea of a logarithm. And what we have for a logarithm, we have log base b of x equal to y. So b is known as the base. And it needs to be a positive number. So b needs to be bigger than zero. In addition, we also need x to be positive. So we have x is also greater than zero. This is the exact same thing as b to the y equal to x. This is still the base of the exponent. And the idea is that we can actually convert between logarithms and exponentials. A lot of people tend to get confused when dealing with logarithms so most of the time we're actually going to use this idea right here to convert to an exponential to be a little more comfortable. So let's look at this idea. I have log base 3 of 9 equal to 2 and I want to convert this to an exponential. We always start with the base. The base of the logarithm is the same as the base of the exponent. And then we're going to do a spiral. We're going to raise 3 to the second power and it should be equal to 9. And this is exactly what we know 3 squared to be, which is a good sign that we got this correct. My next one, log base 10 of 1 over 1,000 equal to negative 3. Once again, we start with our base, which is 10, and then we spiral, ar spiral around. Our exponent will be negative 3, and it will be equal to 1 over 1,000. My next one, log base 6 of 1 equal to 0. Once again, we start with the base and we do our spiral. We raise it to the 0 power and it will be equal to 1. There may be times where it's advantageous to go the other direction, and that's what I'm going to do here. Always start with a log. The base of the exponent is the same as the base of the log, and we still do our spiral. We're going to take log base 2 of 32, and that will be equal to 5. 10 to the 4th equal to 10,000. Once again, our base of our exponent is the same as the base of the log, and then we spiral around. Log base 10 of 10,000 is equal to 4. 1 eighth to the negative 2 equal to 64. So we're going to start with our base, which is 1 eighth. We're going to take the log of 64, and this should be equal to negative 2. I now want to look at evaluating these logarithms. Here I have log base 5 of 125. The easiest way for us to do this is to start by saying this is equal to x, and then we want to figure out what x is, and then convert to exponential. I have 5 as my base is raised to the x power, should be equal to 125, and now the question is 5 to what power is 125? And we might be able to figure out that that would be 3. 5 cubed is 125. If we have log base 4 of 1 over 64, we'll let this be equal to x and once again convert to exponential. My base will be 4. I'm going to raise this to the x power, and that should be equal to 1 over 64. So 4 to what power is 1 over 64? We know 4 cubed is 64. And making an exponent negative flips our fraction, so 4 to the negative 3 is 1 over 64. Log base 27 of 3. We'll set this equal to x and then convert. My base is 27 raised to the x power should be equal to 3. So 27 to what power is 3? Well, we know the cube root of 27 is 3. 
and roots give me fractional exponents. So x is one third. 